guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're heading down to Noblesville, Indiana to pick up our hiker trailer. We thought we'd take you guys along and share in the experience. So that's one of the reasons we decided to go with the hiker because it's more of what we consider a square drop. So the inside of your cabin is fully just the bedroom cabin area. There's no shelving coming in from the back that's eaten into <laughs> your sleeping area. Yeah. So in 2018 we put our order in and uh, with hiker and the options can be overwhelming. Yes, to say the least. So they have three different models. They would travel, mid-range, yep. and an off-road. I wanted the off-road. Compromise down to the mid-range. Compromise to the mid-range. So the off-road is really great. If you're gonna off-road, you're out west, you do a lot of off-grid camping. So we chose the five by nine. It's in a medium gray, yeah. medium gray color. And uh, we opted with a deep galley, 24 inches in the back, and toolbox in the front. Roof rack. Roof rack. Awning. And we went with the 270 Darchi awning. So that'll be nice. It's um, an air conditioning package. Yep, air conditioning package, prep package. And then it has a 12 volt battery system. So, with some solar panels. Yep, solar panel set up. So, we're really excited. We want to get more into some of the off grid camping. We, uh, we always love state parks. So, we wanted to be able to do both. So, the mid range should be able to give us, give us that. I'm going to show you what it's all about the experience of going to the factory, picking it up. Wes is going to give us, Wes from the Indiana plant, it's going to give us a walk around, how the trailer works. I've already talked to him. He's going to let me film some of that. Did we mention we're excited? Because <laughs> we are excited. I don't know if you, it looks like we're excited right now, but we're excited. Woo we can't wait. We got the hiker swag ready. Had to order the hat ahead of time. So, quick stop at Rosie's place in Noblesville for a quick bite to eat. We'll see you at the factory in just a few minutes, like this. It's a 1300, I think. So, left? I think so. <clears throat> yeah, this trailer's back here. Okay. Got people looking at us here. Of course. This hiker. Oh. Well, we've arrived. I think our trailer's right back in there. So let's go check it out. Okay, so once you start wheeling this thing up to your vehicle, and you go to stop it, it's still coming up behind you and gonna push you into the car. So you're gonna sandwich you between the trailer and the car, okay? Um, I don't like the wheels on them. Another reason too is because when you stop and you dolly your trailer off to camp, now this trailer's gonna sit here and rock back and forth on the wheel, okay? Um, this trailer on concrete will still move. It will still slide. It's not, the trailer's not that heavy, okay? Um, we designed the trailer so that it, it has a heavier tongue weight for a better ride, but it's still not going to affect setting it up to the vehicle. As long as you get close, you can move it, unless it's muddy and then it gets to be a kind of your breakaway. To test your breakaway, if you just push the green button right here, it'll say fully charged. That tells you your battery's fully charged. If it says recharge, you need to recharge your battery. If it says charging, that means it's gonna be hooked up to your vehicle. So as soon as you hook up to your vehicle, it'll start this light right here that says it's charging. Um, this will never overcharge. It just has a, a stator and an isolator that, that makes it stay. It will not drain your battery on your vehicle. So as soon as you shut your key off the vehicle, that light should come off. The battery, just the battery with the battery box. This is all your connections for your seven pin wiring system right there. All your wiring for your trailer, lighting, LED, go inside that box. So if you have any issues, you go in there and you start testing the battery system. What's gonna look like when you yes. Okay. So this literally unplugs right here. This goes into here. 
and then your air conditioner can sit right here. Perfect. So you want your return air to be the longest one. Okay. You want your entry air to be your shortest one. Okay. So depending on which side you sleep on, who wants the colder side is what side you put it on. Okay. Light switch is right there, so you can reach it from either door. Okay. Okay. That one runs the slide. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll shut it off. Yep. Right there. This switch actually yes, turns outside. your outside lights on. Oh, okay. So if you're inside and you hear a noise, you can flip it on and it'll turn your lights on on the outside. Nice. Okay. Turn that back on. You have two USBs and you have a cigarette. You have storage up front. You have your AC prep hookup up there. And then you have your max fan. So your max fan works pretty cool. So you can actually run this fan with it closed. So right now it's closed. This is in the unlock position. When you push this up, it might turn just a little bit. That's the lock position. The, the, the actual lid cannot open. So you have to make sure that this is, this is locked. So pull it down and then it'll actually turn up. So you can actually open it with it open. So I like to do this. I like to turn it on. Let her run for here just a second. So this is running like a ceiling fan. This is no air is going nowhere, but just inside circulating. Okay. At any time you can push the reverse button and then it will actually go the other direction. Wow. You don't have to like other fans, let it spool down or anything like that. It has an automatic slow down uh, dimmer on it. So it'll actually slow it down and, and let it switch the other direction on blowing fuses. Nice. So it's I always start with my, I always start with this about at the end of that, that's what I do. And then I roll this down against myself like this, let that lay down slow, put a hand up here at the end, I put a thumb and a hand right here. As I put this on here, I push at the very top like this and then I slowly Six to per hour strip. Nice. Okay. You have your upper storage for your baskets to hang up here. And then you have your outside light switch over here. We'll turn your outside light switch on. Okay. This runs your latch. When you shut your door, now it's latched. Okay? Thing to remember when you lock this. It still, as a safety, will not lock the handle. It still is always unlocked from the inside regardless. Okay? So you always want to travel with your door locked and the deadbolt locked. If you yes. don't, what will happen is someone will try to break into your trailer because they'll think it'll pop and still open. So they'll start yanking on your door because they think it's actually unlocked. Somebody walks up, grabs the handle, knows it's locked. Nice. To, um, to grease these wheels, because we put center caps on your wheels, you pop this off, this will pop off and there'll be a rubber cap below, okay? So walk over this trailer and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So this cap here, the same thing on the inside of that cap, you just pop that off. As you can see, we fill them full of grease. Nice. So it's full of grease. That's your grease cert right there that you'll actually fill. Um, if you travel through water and it looks milky, you'll want to repack your bearings. Restart all over. So we're at Hiker Trailer Indy, taking a look at their store they've got built inside. Got a lot of products you can walk in and just make a purchase right here when you go to pick up your trailer.
there it is. There's our baby. So we're going to come up with a name for it. In September, there's going to be a hiker outing. So with the hiker outing, we're working with Wes for the first annual Hiker Trailer East Campout. So we don't want you to miss it. Anybody that's got a hiker, even if you don't have a hiker and you want to come see what a hiker is all about, come on out. We've got all the information on the web. Uh, I'll link it down below to the event page. It's going to be at McCormick State Park or McCormick Creek State Park in Indiana. Yep. And it's the in September. Yep. So hope to see you there. There's gonna be I think we got fifteen signed up already. So there'll be a lot of different trailers, different styles. Everybody can check out, see what, what hikers all about. So we started this day at 6 a.m. and it is now 10.30. Just pulled in the garage, uh, fits in the garage, no problem. Really happy with the hiker experience. Wes did a great job with the gang, uh, took care of us. Uh, there was a couple small things that we had discussed that needed to be taken care of that we found through the really, really thorough walkthrough and he took care of us, absolutely no problems. Uh, very happy with that and uh, threw it on the truck took off, got home, uh, grabbed a little bite to eat, and the fun begins now. So in the future, I'm gonna have more videos on modifying the hiker and the different things. I'll probably have a walkthrough, a really thorough one, might be a little bit long, 10, 15 minutes, a complete walkthrough of this model and everything we have on it, if you're interested in that. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. We'll see you in the future. Bye, take care. Think of this one versus the one that would. I don't know what to say. It stopped. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have no idea how difficult this is to record in the car when your wife is laughing hysterically and she can't stop. Cut. <laughs> Go back to the channel. <laughs> Cut. Cut. I gotta Cut. keep it in like Chris. Cut again. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the. Hey, there's some police lights. <laughs> it's stop. Cut. Welcome back to the channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. You know you want to. Hey guys. Nope, don't hit stop yet. I'm still trying to think if there's anything else I want to talk about. <clears throat>